Hey guys, this is Natural Girls Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a no makeup makeup look using no foundation. So stay tuned. Okay, the first thing you want to do is make sure you start with a fresh face, moisturize, and I also put a lip conditioner on my lips. And then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty, the Soft Matte Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'm just going to take a little bit, like that much. Rub it in my hand and put it all over my face. Alright, so then I'm going to use a small blending sponge. I'm going to wet it a little bit. Then I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. My shade is Fawn. You want to find a concealer that's the perfect match for your skin since we're not using any foundation. Squeeze a little bit. I'm just going to put it in area that I need. Usually my T-zone is really red. I don't know why. Like especially I'll put it around my mouth in the darker areas. All right then you want to take the beauty sponge and just blend it out as best as you can. Now you don't want it to look like you have on makeup. So that's the whole point of a no makeup makeup look. So a little goes a long way. And I have freckles, so the main reason why I don't wear too much makeup is because I love my freckles and I don't want to cover them up. So you just kind of pull the product around so it can be a super, super thin layer over your whole face. You can pull a little bit down to your neck and towards your hairline, cover over your brows, your eyelids. If you feel like you need a little bit more, I go ahead and use it. I don't know if you guys can see a difference, but I see a little difference and like this is probably at the point where I stop. I don't usually add any more, I only use a little bit because you want it to look like you don't have an, on any makeup, so. Alright, you guys see the difference? My skin tone is a little more even. You don't see the redness as much. Alright, so next, I'm going to do brows. So, I have a spoolie. I'm going to use the NYX Eyebrow Duo. It's in the shade Dark. I'm like almost out of this. But I also, I don't do my brows too much. I mean, I really, I already have a full brows. So I'll only fill in just a little bit. So I'll take my, my angle brush. And let me see, let me see. See that? That's almost done. So I'll take my angle brush and I get some product. And I just, I usually just fill in the gaps. Not too much. Usually when I do my brows, you can't really tell that I put any product in them to make it a little bit fuller. So you just want to follow the natural arch of your brows. I'm just filling a little bit so it just still look like your brows. All right, so you see the difference? It's not too, it's just subtle but it still looks like my brow. So I'm just gonna take a spoolie and I'm just gonna brush that product around. Now I don't, if I have any lines I need to go over, I don't go over it with the concealer because I don't want that sharp line that mm -mm, most people have and I, I don't want it to look fake. So I will usually take my finger and I'll just maybe clean up underneath a little bit or above. So it looks natural. So I'm going to do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll come back. Okay, so my brows are done. See, it doesn't look too crazy. It doesn't look too full. It just filled in a little bit of my natural fullness on my own brows. So it doesn't look noticeable. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some setting powder. I'm using the NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Forget It. And this is in medium slash dark. 
So I'm going to take the Juvia's Place J3 Tapered Contour Brush. I'm just going to dip it in the powder and tap it. I just want a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of brush it over my face. Take a little more. Tap out most of it because you don't want a lot. And you don't want any flashback. I'm just gonna put that all over your face. All right, so now what I like to do to ensure that I don't get any flashback, I like to take the same um, sponge I used for the concealer and I like to push the setting powder really into my skin so I don't get any flashback. I mean, it's only a, a little bit of powder you use anyway, but I like to really push it in. Okay, so now I'm going to take the Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette, and I'm going to take the Juvia's Place J6 Buffer Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm going to use the color Katsina, which is this color here. You can find this color in any neutral palette. So you just want an eyeshadow that's kind of close to your skin too, or a little bit lighter to just make your eyes pop. I only take a little bit of product. And I'm going to put this over my lid. I'm going to do the same for the other eye. So I'm going to take the Juvia's Place, the J5 Round Eyeshadow Blending Brush. Looks like this. Big and fluffy. So I would just go back into that same color. And I'll just kind of blend it. Blend it out some. Not the same for the other eye. Alright, so it gives your eyes this little pop. It makes people question if you have on eyeshadow or not, which that's why I try to use a color that's close enough to your skin or maybe a shade lighter. Alright, so next I'm going to take the NYX three, 3 Steps to Sculpt, and it's in the color Medium. I'm going to use the same brush I used to put the, um, the setting powder, and I'm going to go in with the, the brown powder contour just a little bit. And I'm going to do my cheeks. I'm going to contour the side of my cheek. Not too much because you don't want it to look like you have on makeup. Alright, you can do the forehead a little bit. Just lightly. Alright, you can also do underneath your chin area. Alright, so you're also going to do your nose just a little bit. This brush is tapered, so just. Dip it in on the tip of the brush, and then just go down your nose on the side. And just blend it out a little bit. You don't want to see any harsh lines or anything. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some mascara. I'm going to use the Maybelline, the big, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express. Alright. Now I try to go underneath my lashes and kind of wiggle and then go up. I can also get on top of my lashes. See? It makes them look really big and long. And then I also get my bottom lashes. Okay, so my lashes are done. So now I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter. I'm going to use the Hustler Baby side. 
I'm going to take another Juvia's Place brush. I love their products. Um, this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's a small brush that I like to use when I use the highlighter. Just going to dab a little bit. Get my hair. Alright, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush and then just follow my cheekbone. I'm gonna work my way up to the side of my face. You don't wanna put too much, you just want a nice little side glow. And I just blend it out as much as I can. Alright, you see that? I'm going to do the same for the other side. Now what I like to do is take whatever little bit of product on my brush and I just like to go over my eye just to give a little sparkle. So that's it for that. The next thing we're going to do is the lips, which is the last thing. So I told you I had on a, a lip conditioner. So what I'm going to do is take a baby wipe or a piece of napkin or whatever you have. And you're just going to wipe your lips off. to Get all the dead skin off your lips. And then you're just going to reapply the lip conditioner. And then I'm going to use the NYX which is a soft matte lip cream. This color is a uh, Stockholm. And it's like a soft pinkish nude. I'm just gonna put that all over my lip. Not too much. So I'm going to go over with the Boxum Lip Polish in the color Dolly. Just a little bit. Okay, and that's the final look. Like, that's all you need. My face looks like I have on makeup, but it still looks natural. And you can do this every day, and it's really quick. So I'm going to take down my hair, take some pictures. With the flash and without the flash, I'm going to show you the final product. Alright, so this is my no makeup makeup look. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more content from me. I really appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, bye!